would like to follow Brenda, but let's prepare our heart with a moment of silence for the great Thanksgiving. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give thanks and praise. It is indeed right and salutary that we should at all times and in all places offer thanks and praise to you, O Lord, Holy Father, through Christ our Lord, who on this day overcame death and the grave and by his glorious resurrection open to us the way of everlasting life. And so, with the church on earth and the hosts of heaven, we praise your name and join their unending hymn. Holy, holy,
prepared, and the Lord himself invites you to the table. We will be standing, I think, in the center, and then you will walk down and then return to your seats as we go in. Patty is going to tell you in circles. <laughs> so I am just going to follow what you are setting out or what Jack is going to set out here for us. That's a good idea. Time <laughs> <laughs> everything is prepared.
body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ strengthen you and keep you in his grace. Amen. Let us pray. We give you thanks, Almighty God, that you have refreshed us through the healing power of this gift of life. And we pray that in your mercy you would strengthen us through this gift in faith toward you and in fervent love toward one another. For the sake of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. This time, I think we have more greetings. Okay, I always use notes, so just know that it's coming from my heart, but I want to make sure I do it right, right? <laughs> so how good it is to be here, to see you again. How fast 25 years goes, and how many things have happened in 25 years. What I want you to know, more than anything, is that you're a gift to me. Before I came to serve you, I lived in China Lake Ridgecrest, California, out in the mid upper Mojave Desert. And Zora was part of that connection. Amazingly, I had a friend that was raised from Zor. Her married name was Hamry, and I don't know the connection, but Edom. Edom. Okay. And she told me about living uh, out in South Dakota, but I had no idea I would ever see Zora. And so many things that we think are small weave together in our lives and bring great blessings, and you are that. You are a great blessing to me. <coughs> Not often do we have times to be re reunited. I almost didn't make it this time, but I knew I wanted to come for your 125th, and I'm so glad that I could come. I've lived in many different places, on the coast, in Southern California, on the upper Mojave Desert, in urban settings, in suburbs, and each one has enriched my life in a different way. But what I know about all those people that I've met in different communities is that we're more similar than we're different. For we care for family, and we work, and we see the world, change before us in a way that we can only imagine. We share concern for the future and our children and our grandchildren. What's going to happen next? But we can live in the truth that we are blessed beyond measure, called by name by God to be part of this community of Christians led by Christ, where Jesus calls us all to be his. More than anything we do in life, we want to know, we want our friends, our family to know God and know that Christ cares for us. You are a gift from God, given given to spread the good news. God loves you. God's love will shine through you. Let your light so shine before others that they may see your good works and give glory to your Father in heaven. Thank you. <coughs> And now, a word from a man who was not only a 
shepherd of this church, but a child of my church in Watertown. Uh, when Jane and Jim came to visit me uh, a few weeks ago, I told uh, Jane that uh, I was glad it wasn't up to me to plan this day. And, um, and I told her she didn't have to worry uh, about how things would go because um, God is the one who underwrites uh, a celebration like this. And uh, his presence is here uh, in all the people who are here and in our memories. Now, if I start thinking about the last 25 years, I'm going to fall apart, so I'm not going to do that. Hear the benediction. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you with favor and give you peace. Amen. Amen.
Oh, 